smoke grenade produces a dense cloud of white or colored smoke. Smoke interrupts or obscures the enemy's line of sight. The reality is, what can be seen by the enemy can be killed. Smoke denies clear vision. This video focuses on two white obscuration smoke grenades available to soldiers, the newly fielded M106 and the M83. The M106 hand grenade is a bursting type hand grenade with short duration of less than 35 seconds. It is used for screening and concealment. It is also used by the individual soldier or small unit tactical teams. Its characteristics and components are single circular pull ring seated in the confidence clip, the double tooth safety spoon, the light green colored can, and the brown band three quarters of the way down indicating it is a low order explosive. The M83 smoke hand grenade is a burning top hand grenade used in longer duration of 70 to 90 seconds. It is used for screening and concealment of the small tactical unit. Its characteristics and components are the bevel white top indicating what color smoke, the overlapping pull ring, the smooth safety spoon, the forest green can with light green band and markings. Depending on mission and tactics, these two white smoke hand grenades can be used independently or together. When used in tandem, they produce a longer duration smoke screen up to 110 seconds. In any case, it is critical to recognize how these two grenades differ. A distracted or rushed soldier can mistakenly assume the M106 and the M83 function alike, resulting in accidents and bodily harm. Once the soldier releases their grip on the M106's safety spoon upon the throw, the grenade will burst or explode within 1 to 2.3 seconds. The M83 does not immediately explode, but releases a steady burn of obscuring smoke within the same 1 to 2.3 seconds after release of the safety spoon. The M106 has distinctive markings. In addition to the brown band circling near its bottom, the grenade also displays the words, explodes immediately, do not cook off. The M83 has no such wording. The M106 has a single circular pull ring seated in the confidence clip. The M83 has an overlapping pull ring with no confidence clip. The M106's safety spoon has a unique double tooth design featuring two indentations for a firmer hand grip. The M83 safety spoon is smooth with no indents. A disciplined, step-by-step -step approach to employing either smoke grenade is critical, starting with visual inspection of the metal container housing six grenades. Look for dents, holes, or powder residue on the container's exterior. Open the box, then inspect the individual grenades. To prepare for throwing, first determine your objective in using smoke as a tactic. Choosing either an overhand or underhand throw depends on the target's location, distance to cover, terrain, and wind and weather conditions. If coming under fire from an enemy at a higher elevation, an overhand arc throw may best block their line of sight. If windy conditions exist, an underhand roll may be the choice to avoid unintended dispersion of the smoke. Deploying either grenade utilizes similar steps. To illustrate, we deploy the M106. The proper right-handed grip for the M106, the spoon is center mass of the right thumb between the two knuckles. To remove the pull ring from the confidence clip, palm up, index finger into the pull ring, twisting down, pulling, Striking a pose, ready to throw the hand grenade. The proper left-handed grip for the M106, the hand grenade is upside down, fused facing towards the ground. The spoon is center mass of the left thumb between the two knuckles. To remove the pull ring from the confidence clip, palm down, finger into the pull ring, twisting up, pull, striking a pose. Accident-free training with white obscuring smoke grenades can be achieved when leaders and soldiers simply remember basic fundamentals. Always refer to TC 3-23.30 grenades and pyrotechnic signals before conducting training. The fundamentals include grenade inspection, grenade identification, proper right or left hand grip, disengaging of the confidence clip, pull ring extraction, target identification, body to target physical alignment, distance and accuracy, and throwing technique. Importantly, soldiers must wear personal protective equipment with or without plates, ballistic helmet, eye protection, single hearing protection, and gloves during all phases of grenade training. The M106 Bursting Smoke Hand Grenade is the smoke grenade most often used by the soldier when immediate white obscuration smoke is required right away and time is not available to wait for the M83's burning capability to build and obscure the area. 
The M106 is the Army's newest device of its kind. Employing this white obscuration smoke grenade with proper training will result in a formidable tool in support of the mission.